Now, before we can actually start writing any CSS, the first thing we need to do is create a CSS file and connect it to our HTML file. And it's very easy to do. You can see here I am in my the index where we left off with our project. And I'm gonna go over to the Explorer over here. And while we don't need to have this in a separate folder, it is very common that your CSS isn't just floating around in the root like our index and our HTML file are. So I'm gonna come into the root here and I'm gonna go to the new folder and I'm gonna write a CSS folder right there. And in that CSS folder, I'm gonna make a new file and that file is going to be called style.css. And just like that, so CSS folder and we can have the style here. And with that done, we have our CSS file. The problem is if I were to write some CSS now, it wouldn't actually do anything. This CSS isn't connected in any way to the files that we have over here. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna close over my Explorer and then I'm gonna open up this index file. And over here in the head, because remember this is the behind the scenes stuff that we don't actually see, we add information for the browser. And one of those things that we can do there that's for the browser that users don't see is we're going to connect our CSS file. So to be able to do that, we come here in the head and I'm just gonna make this bigger for now so we can see the entire thing. Let's stretch that out like there. And this is where we actually get to use a link. Uh, unlike the, the A that we had uh, over here for linking pages to one another, in this case, we're actually going to use a link element because we're linking to our CSS file. Now the link needs two different attributes on it, just like uh, when we had images, but the first one is our href. So exactly like our link there. So we have our href. I am very good at putting this as an SRC. So once again, if you do one and it doesn't work, then you just put the other one and then hopefully it does work. Uh, so we're gonna have an href and the other one is gonna be called rel. And the rel is for relationship. It's telling it what type of file it is because technically we could link other types of files as well. So we'll start there where we can just write style sheet. So the relationship of this file is that it's a style sheet. So the browser knows what we're linking to. And then for the href, we just wanna follow the path to get to the file that we've created. So I would come here, we wanna go in the CSS folder and in there do our style.css. And we wanna make sure this is actually working because <laughs> I've had so many projects where I've linked a style sheet and then I've started writing some CSS and getting really frustrated when it wasn't working and I thought I had typos or I thought I did other things and I still do this to this day. Like after over a decade of teaching all of this, not to mention how long I've actually been writing it all, I still make that mistake sometimes. So once you have this linked, what I would suggest is you go back to your style.css file, which is, should be in its own tab at the top. And we're gonna write body like this. Then I'm gonna put an opening curly brace like this. And I'm gonna write background color and just put a color you want. I'm gonna put purple because it's a nice color. And I'm gonna hit save on that. And then we're gonna go over to my file here and hit refresh and I see a purple background coming in. If this doesn't work, you put your purple, you save, you refresh. It means that there is a typo somewhere along the way uh, in, in this link that you've created right here. So you'd wanna make sure the path is correct in actually getting to your file. Make sure the rel equals style sheet is actually there. Cause I think if we take that off, you can see it doesn't actually work. <laughs> so it is important that that is here and it's spelled correctly. So you need the relationship and you need the href both there and then it should work. Now we don't actually want a purple background, but that is a good way just to let you know that if you do need to change the background color of your entire page, you would be doing that on the body. And this whole thing probably looks a little bit weird. So next up, we're gonna be talking a bit more about the syntax and what's actually going on right here.